So what do you do if you have multiple family members at home and only one Xbox to share between all of those family members? Well, stick around and in this video, I'll show you how to share your Xbox Live and games with everyone in your family. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. So not long ago, I did have a user um, who had the quick question is, how can he share his Xbox Live and digital games with his family members? And no doubt there are many family members just like him who only have one console in their house and they wanna make sure that they can share their Xbox Live and games, but they also don't want the family members to be playing on their account who could possibly mess up their achievements or their ranks or anything like that. As a fellow gamer, I definitely understand that. And sometimes when I'm on my account and my son comes and plays on my account, you know, I'm like, ah, I am cringeworthy. He might mess up my stats, which, you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal to me, but you know, for some people it may be. So how can you get around doing that? Well, the first thing that you want to do is designate a primary account. This is going to be the person who is going to purchase the Xbox Live. They're going to purchase all of the games. Everything's going to be purchased underneath this account. And it would be great if this is actually the parent of the household who is going to do this because obviously you would need the permission typically to purchase games or purchase the Xbox Live. Um, but as well, this does give you a nice feature um, in the ability to set different time restrictions and content restrictions and things like that for the whole family. Um, there is an app on your phone uh, that you can download and, and then make all those settings and stuff. But again, that's for another video. And if you'd like to see some of the information about that, then make sure you check out this playlist right here where I go over some of those options that you can do. Okay, and so now that you do have the main account set up, the next step would be to sign that account uh, onto your Xbox. Now, they're going to also, like I mentioned before, need to buy the Xbox Live and or any games that you normally have. But you're going to sign them on the Xbox and then create them as the home Xbox sign-in on that console. And so in order to do that, I'll go ahead and jump onto the Xbox so I can show you the different steps that you'll need to take to make it the home Xbox for your family. So the first thing you want to do is click onto your settings options and then from settings you'll go over to personalization and you'll click that and then you'll go down to the my home xbox and then on my home xbox you'll click make this my home xbox now again this is important you want to make sure that you're doing this on the main account you're making that main account the my home xbox and as i mentioned before you're kind of doing this so that each person in your family who is going to be playing on this particular console uh, does have access to their own account meaning they have their own settings meaning they have their own achievements and their own ranks and the different games that they're doing so in order to make this happen you'll need to give each one their own account now you can create their own account pretty quickly Quickly, and you can do that directly on the Xbox console if you want. You can also like, do this by going onto the Microsoft.com website and then just creating an email address for them and creating their gamer tag through that email. Um, but real quick, I'll show you how to do this on the Xbox itself so that you don't even have to leave where you're already at and just go straight to the console and make these changes and create these accounts. So the first thing you want to do when you're creating this account is hit your home button here on the Xbox and then you're going to go over to your profile and systems and then you're going to add or switch now when you're on add or switch you'll go down to add new and then once you do add new you'll come over here and you can either use another device you can get a new email or you can you know if you forgot your account you can do that and then once this screen pops up if you already have a login for them that you've created or you can back there and then go over to get a new email address and here you'll be creating an account for them with a new email address and eventually a gamer tag from complete scratch. So now that you have each of your gamer tags loaded onto your console, there are a couple more little things that we need to do to kind of clarify to make sure that we still don't get these issues with signing in to accounts at one time or something. So the main account, like I said, if that's you as a parent who is gaming on that account, perfect, just sign in and game whatever you're on. Um, but maybe it's one of your children or it's a brother or sister that, that's going to get online and play. So before, you know, if you didn't set up the home Xbox, you would have to sign in the main account and then go in and sign in the secondary accounts on your on your console if you wanted to be able to still play uh, the games and have Xbox Live access with the other secondary accounts. Um, now that you've created the home Xbox on your console, you don't have to do that anymore. So the main account no longer needs to be logged in in order for the secondary accounts to still have access to Xbox Live and or the games that you have purchased. 
So no more bickering, no more fighting over who gets to actually play on your account and you don't have to worry about your settings and your rankings being destroyed anymore if you have a little brother or something who's trying to play on your account. Now, if you found value in this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more tips just like this one, then make sure you check out the video that's coming up next. And with that guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.